So does helicopter coordinate in the turn as similar to an airplane? Do you just put in some anti-torque pedal just like an airplane or no? So most of the other helicopters I've flown, no. Um, the anti-torque pedals are for just that. So it's just for the tail rotor for anti-torque. Okay. And torque, and the more power you have, the more anti-torque you need. And so my left hand collective going up or down is when I need the pedal. So watch what happens. And you can see the ball. You can see a ball here. Okay. And then you're probably familiar yep. with this ball here. Caution. Terrain. Terrain. And it's also basically set up for like airplane flying as far as the caution. You're not hearing the caution, no. right? But uh, yeah. so if I lower the collective right now, so here's my power setting. Actually, I'll just give it the engine page. So when I lower and I don't do any pedal input, the helicopter is going to go way out of trim. Yeah. You feel that? So if I step on the ball, bring it back into trim, had nothing to do with turning. It just had to do with power changes. So same when I increase it, and it's easy to remember if you think lift left. So I'm not going to do any pedal. I'm lifting, increasing the torque. I need more oh. anti-torque, and it's going out of trim. But it doesn't feel as intense that direction. Yeah. Now this helicopter has a big, long fin on the back. Okay. Actually, a vertical fin. It's got a horizontal yep. stabilizer and a vertical fin. And it gives it almost like a sympathetic yaw. Um, so that I basically am scanning my ball like every few seconds if I'm turning okay. or making yeah. any power changes at all. So if I if I turn left and do nothing, see the ball? Uh -huh. I definitely could have added some left pedal. Okay. And then let's we'll try the other way. So I'm not doing any power changes. Turn to the right, and I definitely need a little right pedal. So this is the, one of the few helicopters I've flown that does have a little okay. bit of a need for pedal adjustment in the turns. But if you come into flying a helicopter from airplanes and you have this muscle memory of every time you turn, yeah. especially like flying a stick plane like yeah. you are, so every time you use the stick, you're doing left pedal. Well, now think about doing left pattern in a helicopter, and okay. you're coming, you're on downwind base. You lower your collective, reducing power. You need right pedal, so wow. you'll be you'll be full right pedal That's in crazy. a full left turn when you're on your base, base to final. So really, the only way to fly it always in trim is just to reference it. Yeah. And most helicopters have a little trim string out here, a little piece of yarn. Yep. Uh, this one doesn't. But you've got two references. And really the home, because the blades are spinning in this direction, the helicopter is actually a little bit to the left, and the left skid is a little bit hanging low. Uh -huh. So it flies through the air a little bit. Uh, yeah, I've seen that uh, kind of some videos. Uh huh. If you're trying to land on a big slope, and you can't quite get enough cyclic input to land, you can turn around and put your left skid on the oh, low side. There you It'll go. become a less of a Pro slope. Tip. Yeah. Uh, but because of that, you can fly it totally in trim according to the ball, and it'll still feel a little out of trim. So really, the, the home is a little bit to the left side. Okay. So I pretty much always fly it like a, needing a little bit of left pedal on purpose, which means that I almost always have some right pressure. Yeah. And turbulence, it flies much nicer if you're a little bit uh, out of trim that direction also. Oh, there's a balloon out there. Oh, yeah. It's a nice day for that. Nice and calm. Y'all ever been in a balloon? Once. Yeah. Just once. In Dubai. Wow. It was so cool. <laughs> Super early in the morning, as it always is, except for that one right there. And... Uh, it was actually really windy. I was super nervous. And we're in a foreign country, and I'm like, oh, gosh. Yeah. I called them up the day before. I'm like, it's, there's a lot of wind forecast. Are you guys going to cancel? They're like, no, we hardly ever cancel. He's like, it's going to be a sporty takeoff and a sporty landing, a sporty controlled crash. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, great. I had my Insta360. I'm like holding on to the pole. Yeah. And it was definitely sporty, and we laid, we laid sideways for quite a while. But... I would do it again. It was so worth it. Yeah, it was super cool.
Looking down at wild camels wandering the desert in Dubai. Deep. Yeah. Have you been in one? Nope. No skydiving, no balloons. No, oh. I know, right? Uh, you need to need to get out of the house, I guess. <laughs> Once you get like where you want to be in your career, then then start doing that's, that. That's for sure. Yeah. There'll be plenty of time for that. Yeah.